Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today it's Saturday. It's a busy day. Got a lot going on. Got my daughters doing a play. Got a company coming. We got a party to go to tonight. We're actually going to a potluck, so we got to bring a couple dishes. I'm going to bring some of the uh, cheddar beer bratwurst that I made in a couple videos back that I had been sitting in the freezer. And I'm going to do that with sauerkraut. But another thing I'm going to make real quick, and I'm, I don't do a lot of sides on this channel, so I'm going to do a side today that I'm going to do sous vide, and um, it's not going to be on the grill or anything, but we're going to do German potato salad, and I'm going to actually do the potatoes in the sous vide because I don't want them really, really mushy. I just want them, you know, firm, so I'm going to cook them at 180 degrees, so I'll be right back and get started. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do first, so I'm going to peel me about uh, about six pounds of potatoes, and I'm going to put them in a uh, in the uh, vacuum sealer bag and throw them in the sous vide. I'm not going to waste your time watching me peel a bunch of potatoes and cutting them up, but I'm going to cut them um, in decent size uh, chunks, you know, potato salad style chunks, but I'll show you the bag before I drop it in the sous vide. So. I'm going to get peeling and right, I'll be back, back and uh, I got my sous vide heating up to right at 180. Um, it's almost there. I got my potatoes all peeled and nothing beats a good potato peeler, man. If you ever used a, you know, dull potato peeler before, you know, it's a pain in the butt. I always suggest get a new potato peeler. They're cheap. Man, it just saves you a whole lot of time and knuckle busting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these potatoes up. I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut them up and then I'm going to toss them in the bag real quick. So I'm really just going to take a potato and just cut it right in half long ways. I'm not going to really um, care too much how they look because these are going in potato salad. So what I'm going to do is going to be, a, you know, right about an eighth to a quarter of an inch slices. And I'm just going to slice it like that. Just going to show you, you know, just like that. It's got a chunk. So just to kind of make them as even as you can. It doesn't really matter because they are going to get mushy to some extent. So just cut them up. It's about a quarter to an eighth of an inch. What we're going to use for our dressing today, I'm going to do a pound of bacon. We're going to go ahead and fry that up. And then we're going to use that bacon fat to fry up some onions. And we're going to mix that in with some celery seed, salt, pepper, I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder in there, olive oil, and a lot of recipes call for white vinegar, but I'm going to use, I like to use apple cider vinegar because I like the tang that apple cider vinegar gives to it. Um, it really mixes well with the onions and the bacon, I think. So you can do whichever you want, but I'm going to put the recipe that I'm using down below. Just follow along with me guys, and I'll be right back. guys since the bacon's almost done the potatoes are still cooking I'm gonna go ahead and throw my uh, uh, dressing together it's pretty easy um, I usually use extra virgin olive oil but it's really just to use a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil or just regular olive oil or any oil you like to use and then a quarter a cup of your vinegar like I said, I use apple cider vinegar. You can use whatever vinegar you like, but I find apple cider vinegar works best for me. If you use a little bit more, a little bit less, it's not gonna matter. I usually take right about a teaspoon of garlic, maybe a little less. I don't want to have an overpowering garlic flavor heaping teaspoon of celery seed. I already put a little pepper in the bacon, so I don't need a ton. So 
I'll do a teaspoon of pepper and then a teaspoon of kosher salt. I think it's a little bit more, that's okay. Really about a teaspoon. Kosher salt. Um, and also this recipe calls for a couple tablespoons of sugar. So I'm gonna put a couple tablespoons in there. That's right about two tablespoons. And then we're gonna whisk it up real good. If I can find my whisk. We're just going to whisk it up real good. And we're just going to let it sit out and wait for the potatoes and everything else to be Believe it or not, guys, so. I left out an ingredient out of the dressing. Uh, forgot all about it. And all it is, it's uh, two tablespoons of... You can use either spicy brown mustard. You can use yellow mustard if you want. Um, Dijon mustard. Any kind of mustard you want. I like to use the spicy brown Seems like more of a deli, uh, more of a German type mustard to me. And that's what we're going to actually use with our bratwurst and sauerkraut too, that's going to go along with this. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to measure this by sight. I'm not going to, you know, measure it with a spoon or anything, just because I kind of know what two tablespoons is. And if it's a little bit more, a little bit less, it's not going to kill it. So I'm going to go ahead and whip this into that. And that will kind of help us out with a little bit better color. I thought I was missing something. So, all right, that's it, guys. Our bacon and onions are all done. We're just waiting for the potatoes. And we're just going to slap it all together and throw it in the, in the crock pot. And uh, all right, all my we'll potatoes are done. They're sitting in there right about an hour at like 180 or so. And like I said, I don't want them real mushy. It's nice and firm. I'm just going to toss them right into the uh, slow cooker because that's where we're going to be sitting them. They're actually, it's going to sit here for four hours or so because I have somewhere else to go before I go to the party tonight. So these are still kind of firm. You can cook them a little longer if you want for yourself, but I just wanted them a lot more, a little more firm because I know they're going to be sitting in this slow cooker for a while. So now what I'm going to do got my bacon and onion still in my pan and I, I drained some of the bacon grease out um, probably about half of it and I left some of it in because I do want that bacon grease to season the uh, potato salad so I'm gonna dump the onions and bacon right on top and I'm just gonna mix everything right in here there's no reason to dirty another bowl or pan or pot um, I'm gonna mix up my dressing that I prepared and I'm just going to make sure it gets all emulsified before I start mixing it in. Then I'm just going to kind of drool it all, drizzle it all over. The potatoes. Then I'm going to mix it up with this spoon. Just going to get it all in there. I did reserve a little bit more of that bacon fat, so I might just spoon just a little bit more in. And then I'm going to mix it all up right here in the slow cooker. All those flavors are going to get mixed in together a little bit more. But I'll give this a taste and finish up this video. So I'm going to get a piece here with the bacon on it. This one's kind of good. Got that kick from the vinegar. I'll taste the onion and the bacon. Might add just a little bit more salt to it. But other than that, German potato salad, it's a great side. Especially if you're doing a potluck or you want something to do uh, real quick. 180, 185 for a little over an hour makes them perfect. Uh, but if you want to set them in the uh, uh, slow cooker for a while, if you want to serve it right away, maybe do you know an hour and a half or two hours at that temp. And they'll be just nice and, and uh, ready to go. So. Give it a try. Thanks for following us. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and um, make sure you see us on the next video. Thanks, guys.